welcome back to another video today i'm going to be going to a thrift store event and this event is being hosted by old garage i'm gonna insert that right there so if y'all want to check it out basically it's a thrift event you know it's a free event this one at least and i believe they do it every sunday of i don't know they do it whenever they do the events they do it on sundays i believe they're gonna have a lot of stuff so it says enjoy clothes uh, free raffles, food, music vendors, a free saint, beer to everyone over 21, no business license required. And I love the part that I said family and dog friendly. I would have took spider, but it's raining if you can hear it. So I'm excited because I saw a couple videos of jerseys and it was saying it's seven dollars. It tells you the prices before you go, it, it'll tell you on a video that they'll post. So I'm excited because. I love jerseys. So hopefully we can score a couple of jerseys for seven dollars. It's a steal. That's why I'm trying to get there early. The event starts at eleven and it's currently ten fifteen. I'll see you at the event. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So we got that pink tag through on fifty cents. This is cute. Oh look. So I didn't do much filming or much talking over here while I was there because it was just a lot going on, a lot of lines, a lot of people, and I was trying to get the good deals and find the good stuff, which I didn't really find a lot. You guys will see later. But also, while you're checking out in the long, long line, I don't know if you guys can tell from the little right there, it was a long line. It was kind of wrapped around the inside of the building. And while you're checking out, there's little tents. They got a lot of little different things. This one specifically had glasses and little stuff like that. The other one had jewelry and some foods as well. They also had a live DJ at the back. I just didn't record that. And at some point, they also go out and put a little raffle ticket that you have to find. And I think it's either $100 towards whatever you want to get or it's something like that. It's something like that. I don't want to butcher it. And then over here, more little tents, crochet tents. And I got my free beer. I just wanted to try it out. Ty said it was going to be nasty, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. And for a free beer, who can complain? We left old garage. I got one thing. I'll see if I can show you later. And now we are at my favorite spot. You guessed it, Frank's. If I've never raped about Frank's on this channel, now I will. I love Frank's with a passion. Frank's is the best pizza. Don't at me. And then, you know, I got the cute little mural that I love to record when I leave. The lighting is killing it, y'all. I love the lighting right here. But it was cute but the event was cool you know it was very packed but from what i've seen for the videos that promote the place it has been way more packed than that me personally honestly i'm not gonna lie to you i feel okay so what i wanted to say was you know it was a cool event but honestly if you're not really into buying thrifted clothes and sifting through clothes with a bunch of people just around you you know i don't know like it was cool but i probably won't be back just because me personally i don't have the patience to sit there and go through all those racks i don't know if the video does justice but there was a lot a lot of racks and a lot a lot of people and i don't know i just i don't have the patience personally but if you do then this is a great place for you it's free to look of course but obviously the clothes are not free so if three thing is for you and you have patience to shop, then check it out. Best pizza ever. 
Alright, it's been a couple hours later. So let me show you what I got from old garage. And this is this one thing. I got this oversized, way oversized jacket. Do you think I can rock it or not? I think it's cute, it's different, you know, and then that's the back. The back is cool. Maybe even wearing it like this would be cute, but it's very oversized. I mean, I'm very short. I know that I'm short. I'm aware that I'm very short, but I really like the back. And, and you know, it's, it's big on me, but I think on a regular person, it would be fine. Okay, so the zipper works. Okay, okay. Obviously, I'm gonna wash it because used but i'm not gonna dry it because you know you don't want to mess any of this up this is gorgeous i love it and i love the dark green on me the army green cute i will say though i'm not sure if i'm gonna go back i probably won't to be honest because old garage was one of those things that i just kind of wanted to check out i'm really not a big thrift person so it is what it is so if i was somebody that really knew how to put pieces together then for sure that would be my place because i love the prices that one was 20 dollars, so i do appreciate that they come up with the price list as i mentioned earlier as promised i want to show you guys the update on everything that has been going on so here i decided to plant a lot of new things not just this i'll show you guys outside as well this is parsley and i did it on the 30th so I am now in February, hoping, fingers crossed, that it works and I get some parsley because I love that in my kitchen. And I got this gorgeous mini white Fittonia. I'm not at the level of where I memorize names just yet. I, I do have some of them memorized, but not all. That one's fairly new, so excuse me. Then, of course, my African Violet. You guys have seen that one. That one's been with me for a while. And then I have this one. This one is my Crisula. This is actually one of my free plants that I found at Lowe's and it grew so you know pick up what you find on the floor it may grow <laughs> then this one I literally just picked up yesterday at a uh, Target which I didn't know Target sold real plants which is very concerning because they don't take care of them so anyways that's another topic but I have here this marigold I've had this marigold just that one for a long time and it, it literally nothing happened and it I don't know. I don't know what's happening here because it doesn't grow, but it doesn't die either. And I've tried seeing if it will come out, but it won't. So it's it's alive. Just don't know what's happening. So I just let it do its thing. I water it once a week or whenever the soil is dry. Update on my Monstera. A lot of leaves fell off. They died. As you can see, it is growing this new leaf. It's almost fully opened. You don't ever want to rush a plant process, okay? Don't touch it. Don't don't play with this. So I just let it do its thing and, you know, hope for the best. Do your thing and then dust it off. So you know, my newest addition that I'm so excited for, this gorgeous Calathea. Now, I've heard mixed reviews on Calatheas. Mostly bad, to be honest. I've heard that they're the beeps of plants they hate them people hate them they say that these plants are trifling they will die on you they're not they're not kind to you but honestly i say just watch it take care of it and you'll be fine i don't know but we'll see we'll see another thing about this plant is the darker the leaf on the back because that's one thing that i found gorgeous not only are the patterns on the leaf gorgeous because to me i know it's kind of dark right now but it looks like cheetah print to me it's such a sexy plant <laughs> it's such a sexy plant but wait y'all see that the leaves are orange um the leaves are purple in the butt in the back they're gorgeous and at night they fold up like what they're doing right now to protect their energy. I just got this one, so I can't tell you if I love it or hate it. Then, y'all know my OG, my baby, my snake plant. Honestly, if you can't take care of a snake plant, then you shouldn't be a plant parent. Let me just put it that way. Uh, it's growing a lot of new leaves, per se. This one's new. 
This one's new. I know y'all can't see, but it looks so good. It looks so good. Honestly, my whole thing on plants is very simple to take care of plants. All you have to do is feel the soil, and if it feels dry, water it. But make sure you put your finger in there or get something that's moist to really test out if it's moisturized or dry. And obviously, depending on the plant, to do your research on every single plant you have. Okay? Every single one. Because they're all different. And the sun requirements and all that is very important. But this isn't a plant video. This is my baby boo. The one that I got in December. This is my bird of paradise. And guess what? Do you see something growing? Yes, yes, that's a new leaf. Ah, I'm so excited. I, man, I'm ecstatic. And I love this pot too, it's so cute. I love butterflies. So, ah, I just love it. I'm so excited because I thought it wasn't really doing anything until I saw this. Guys, don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. When all hope is lost, bam, new leaf. Okay, hopefully you can see it a little better now, so. It's folding up, and then that's the back. It's a little darker under there. And if you think it looks a little bit messed up, it's because it is messed up. It's because spider has been biting my plants, guys. And I am gonna lose my mind because I'm gonna show you what she did. Outside, I have cilantro over here. That's the only thing growing, and I have used it. There is no better feeling than using what you have in your garden. Ugh. The feeling, I made tacos and I felt so good. Then over here, I need to buy more labels to mark this before I forget. Here I have thyme and I have marigold. Marigold is that little flower that won't grow inside in that pink pot. So hopefully marigold, marigold grows out here because it's good to keep bugs away. That's the reason why I got it, but hopefully it grows. The soil is very, very wet. I have just, ah, 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 you just got a bath. You just got a bath. Then over here, I don't think I showed it ever on camera, but my tomato plant actually got a lot of tomatoes in December, but then it went through a rough patch after that and it was just dying. So I cut off all of the dead leaves, all of the dead. It was, guys, when I tell you it was growing really, really high, it was getting tall. Very, very tall. I was worried because I was like, I don't, this is like a jungle, but it all died, so I guess it's fine. And it all grew back, so let this be another example. Don't be scared to chop because it'll come back. At one point, before I cut everything off, it literally, there was nothing at the bottom there, so don't be scared of a chop. A chop can be good. Now, let's talk about this right here. I don't know if anybody remembers but this used to be my bell pepper tree let's talk about it spider literally chopped down the entire tree my tree was more than four feet tall no 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 it was more than two feet tall it was very very tall it actually grew a bell pepper at one point and she literally bit it all the way down this this is her she bit all this down. I didn't cut it. She she messed up my entire bell pepper tree. The entire thing. So I'm very sad. I was hoping that it would... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what to do in this situation because it wasn't like it got root rot or any other events happened. She literally bit it off. So I don't know if I should just plant more bell peppers and hope for the best or what. But... It's looking like I might have to. This is all that's left. I don't know if I can work with this. I don't know how I can. I don't know. I don't know what to do, so let me know. Here, this is one of the, what's it called, plants that my neighbor gave to me. So honestly, I don't remember the name of what this is. But it is growing because when she initially gave it to me, it was less than this. So I really do appreciate her for giving this to me because I think they're gorgeous. I just don't remember their name. So I'm going to have to look these up. But if you know the name, please let me know, or I might just ask her. And then I have planted some strawberries, but crickets. No, no strawberries. Hopefully one day they surprise me, but nope, I have not got any strawberries. And then here, I just recently, the same day I, I did the thyme and the marigolds, I also did oregano, parsley, and onion in here. Now, I know you're supposed to do it in something smaller, but honestly, I just don't have the space for that, so I'm praying 
and hoping that I can do something with this and it'll all come together. Miracles do happen. These two Vincas did survive the winter only because I took them inside. If I had never taken them inside, they would have died. Now they're, they are kind of in rough condition right now, but they're still good. If there's any plant that I have advocated for, for a strong support and trunk and just being able to withhold water because I honestly forgot to water them for a couple days and man, they're still, they're strong. So if you want to get a starter plant, get some Vimcas. They are strong. They, they're, they're a warrior, okay? They're warriors, put it that way. So the last one that I got is this. This is a birthday present that I got from Ty on my birthday. He knows I like real plants, so what better gift than a real plant? So I'm trying my best to take care of it. No, it's not only just a December plant, guys. Please don't get that confused you can keep this plant all year round because i saw a video that really made me mad about this guy saying hey do you want to get rid of these after december and he's like you can and then he literally throws in the trash like what i don't know maybe i'm too attached to these plants now but i would never throw any plant away no matter if it doesn't go with december or not that's like throwing away your october plants just because they don't go with the vibes like who who gets plants for the vibes I don't know. And the reason why a lot of these are gone is because of Spider again. She bit off more than half of this plant, which is so upsetting. Last but not least, I just went to the store and guess what I found? I don't know if anybody has been on the hunt for these, but I have. I just decided to chill on it. I wasn't going to go hunting. So I was like, if I find it, I find it. I get it. If I don't, whatever. Bruh. I find the strawberry stool. <gasps> I'm definitely gonna put a plant on there. Just don't know which one yet, or I might even buy another one just to put it there. I don't know, but I am so excited for the stool. I'm excited for more stools to find.